Hi, my name is Dave Nielsen from Cloud Camp, and I'm here with Brian, a developer evangelist out of Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Hello again. Hi. And uh, we were just talking about uh, different ways companies can get started using the cloud, and one of the uh, most easy and most valuable ways they can get started is just backing data and files up into the cloud. Yeah. And um, you know, we were talking about like the mid market. Can you tell us what? problems the mid-market is facing when they're talking about backing up their apps? Yeah, a lot of IT departments really have this need for disaster recovery, right? And that means another <clears throat> data center more than 300 miles away, duplicating all your hardware. Not only that, but your database is buying some really expensive custom software to kind of link those two together. And, and that can be really challenging, both skill-wise and, and money-wise. It's very expensive to do that. You know, and, and and, and when the cloud comes in, if they try to use the cloud, it seems like there's some additional benefits you get with uh, just putting uh, storage in the cloud. Yeah, for example, let's say they just, here we have an app with a database and some file system. Maybe they just move these files or this data up into the cloud. When you do that with Azure, you actually get three replicas of that data. And you don't see this going on, but we do that for high availability reasons for uh, um, make sure that your data is always available to you. And so if, if, if one of those were to go down, uh, I would imagine uh, Azure's going to replicate it again and, and without you even knowing. Yeah, exactly. Behind the scenes, we, we uh, in this case with SQL Azure, we build a third replica again. We wire everything back up, and you don't even know it happens. And that's all taken care of for you. Yeah, it's you magic. Get that free without even knowing. Magic. There yes. you go. Now, let's just take the scenario. Now you've, you've backed up your data so that you've got it whether you just simply needed additional storage or you wanted to have your a secondary backup in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And some, if something were to happen internally, uh, you know, inside your firewall, um, you know, you, you now have the ability to recover. But in the meantime, it seems like you could spin up some your applications in the cloud too and do some sort of business continuity. Yeah, it's kind of like poor man's DR, right? And so if we have to prepare for this, but I could prepare my app to uh, run in the cloud so that when this crashes or goes down, I deploy my app, I spin up some instances, and we already have all our data, and we're good to go. OK, and so you can keep it going there until yep. you get your internal systems back up and running. And then, meantime, your employees are being productive and uh, getting their email and doing whatever they need to do. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad we discovered this, because <laughs> this actually uh, can make a big difference in some, especially those middle-sized companies who are facing this challenge. Yeah, and it's very easy to get going. Well, speaking of that, how do a developer yeah. or IT pro get going? I, I think you could get the cloud for free. I think if you go to Windows Azure <laughs> uh, Pass .com, you can get uh, a free account for Windows Azure. And you need? You do need a promo code. A do you promo have one, code? Sir? Yes, I do. Dave on Azure. And that gives you the 30 days. So, well, very good. I'm glad we had a chance to talk about this. and. Uh, Thank you for joining me on Dave on Azure.